Howdy everybody, Tucson Piper here. Just enjoying a pipe on the on the porch in the morning. Today I am smoking some Sutliff 1M out of my Savinelli 320. I have no clue what series this is from. I got it on eBay. It's got two brass bands. And yeah, no, no clue what series whatsoever. I'm also using my new Eric Stokeby, uh, basically I Am Corona Old Boy knockoff, made by Zykar. I have nothing profound to say today. Really, I just wanted to enjoy pipe <clears throat> with you guys and uh, just talk about life. I'm trying to get this one good light. Life's great. Um, family's doing well, trying to teach our daughter how to do kid things. Um, the, uh, the treatments, they uh, really hindered her uh, development in speech. Not because of like any sort of interaction with the drug in her brain, but just because of the isolation. Like, she didn't have a bunch of kids that she could hang out with because she was so sick. And that, uh, that really hindered her ability to, uh, to pick up speech. So we got some speech therapy classes going on. Nothing too bad. Like, she can take instruction and she knows how to, uh, like follow two step instructions like hey pick this up and take it over there and stuff like that so she's she knows what to do she's just not very good at vocalizing um other than that her hair is growing back it's, uh, it's about an eighth of an inch long now, so she looks ridiculous with a little fuzzy head. It's uh, the rainy season starting up here in Tucson. So we're starting to get some, uh, some heavy downpours. It's nice. I'm smoking, or I'm smoking, I'm drinking some uh, Maxwell House original with uh, rum chata in it. Very good. You know, for years I took coffee extremely seriously. I would uh, I'd buy whole beans and I have a really nice burr grinder and used to exclusively French press for years because uh, 
I thought that made me, uh, I don't know, more interesting or I thought that it gave me an edge on everybody else who drank coffee. But then, uh, about two months ago, I decided, you know what, let's just try some Folgers. Let's try some Maxwell House. They're out. They've been in the marketplace for so long. They uh, probably have a pretty good product. So I did. And it's fantastic. It's, uh, it, it really proves that there's a reason why they've been selling coffee for so long. very much so enjoy some Maxwell House. Anyways. It's lighter here. I think I'm going to have to give up on the tamper on it. It's kind of a pain in the neck to use. I mean, it works. Don't get me wrong. Just a pain in the neck. I'd rather use the golf tee. It was more of a uh, experiment for the tamper. I bought the lighter for the the lighter, you know, for the the ability to produce a flame. I have a question for you guys. I read it in a uh, Daniel Dennett book. If you're standing on the shore and a half a mile away from the shore you can see a island or an island sorry and at low tide you can walk to the island without getting your feet wet this is still an island I've asked this question of several people over the last couple couple weeks most people don't really know how to answer it. I suppose my initial response would be uh, sometimes. Because it is and it isn't. It's an island sometimes and it's, I guess, would be a peninsula at other times. Just an interesting thought. really want to thank uh, Mutton Shop Piper. I know he doesn't watch my channel, but this 320 is just such a fantastic shape. Like I've always been drawn to bulldogs, and I know this isn't a this isn't a bulldog, it's an author. But you can't deny the similarities between an author and a bulldog. Um there are differences, obviously, but there are, I think there are more similarities than there are differences between an author and a bulldog. Now, bulldogs do come in a whole lot of different um, heights, you know, the, the bull height. But um, as far as the relation, the relationship between the height of the of the button and the height of the bowl or the the angle between the two they're, they're pretty similar um, I guess you're kind of getting into like the bent Rhodesian style uh, at a certain point in the conversation but anyways I very much so enjoy the author shape And the only reason why I got into it was because of Mutton Chop Piper. So, again, send a thanks out to him. I've been on a uh, on a collection spree for Savinelli Estate Pipes. I'll do a video in a couple weeks and show you guys where I'm at with that. I'm 
really into collecting the Estella line of Savinelli pipes. I think they're from like the 1970s. They're absolutely gorgeous pipes. Oh my God. The rustication. It's so deep. I'm, I look at these pipes and I'm just so infatuated with how, how did they possibly, what process did they use to get the rustication that deep, that aggressive? Cause I look at my little rustication tool, you know, and, uh, there's absolutely no way I could, I could reach in and dig out pieces that are that big and then make it look that, uh, uniform all the way around it. Now I've read that the, uh, the Estella line are seconds. They're like pipes that were destined for another line, but there was something wrong with it, pits or something. And they instead just rusticated the dog shit out of them to, uh, to make the new line, the Estella line. I'm okay with that. I'm glad it happened because, uh, so far I have three and I have a, a Maru Amanelli, which has rustication that rivals the Estellas. None of them look like they've really been used heavily. Like they, there was almost there was no cake to to clean out of these things. Um, they the people that smoked them smoked really really light aromatics. Actually, like one of them, I, I reached out and I talked to the guy. I was like, hey, what did you smoke out of this pipe? Because it smells amazing and I would love to get my hands on some. And then he messaged me back and let me know that uh, he just got them at an estate sale himself and he has no clue who smoked them or what they smoked out of it. But uh, there was no chatter on any of the stems. Like, perfect condition, these things. And the stems are gorgeous. They're all... Uh, they're all lucite, you know, just it's fantastic quality all the way around. I have uh, three Savinois coming right now in the mail. One of them's a Roma that's been really heavily used. One of them is a Punto Oro 313 that has a, a quite extreme crack on the stem which I'm going to repair. And then the third one is a champagne. Can't remember what the line is on that. I think it's like a 314 or something. Very lightly used, the listing says, but you can never really trust the listings. Anyways, so I'm uh, just letting you guys know I'm a huge 708 fan. I'm sure that a lot of you guys can uh, second and third and fourth that because, I mean, they're a fantastic pipe company. I also have a pipe to show you guys today that I'm super excited about. I bought a never smoked 1988, which was the year I was born, uh, Pipe Collectors International Pipe Convention Pipe. It was made by SNR Woodworks, which is an American company. Came with all of the original paperwork. So this thing existed in somebody's collection for 30 years, unsmoked. I'm gonna share that with you guys today. I'm not gonna smoke it, but I'm gonna show you guys everything I got in it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, this is Tucson Piper. Until next time.